Hey everybody, once again, Ghosthead83 here. Uh, just kind of wanted your guys' opinions about things. This this whole reboot of Ghostbusters is driving me insane. If you're tired of listening to me, don't watch any more videos, but I can't stand it to not talk about it. Because this Paul Feig, uh, <laughs> I'm waiting for him to say one intelligent thing, and he continues to spew complete crap that just doesn't Makes sense. Uh, he just got done being quoted as saying, The Walking Dead is going to be a big influence on the new Ghostbusters movie. Uh, give me if I'm wrong, but does that make any fucking sense to anybody but, but him? Because, for one thing, it's a drama slash horror it's zombies, it's, I, what, there's no comedy, it's, there's no, I mean, it's not strictly a comedy, or supernatural comedy, there's no comedy in it, the characters are nothing like that whatsoever, they're, it's a post-apocalyptic apocalyptic world, uh, I just, I'm, keep, I'm confused at why this is still going through, he wants comedians, and there's four, and two of them are the most unfunny people in the world. Women, not women, it doesn't matter to me. Just funny, I want funny, that's it. We're not even getting that. Um, so, this, The Walking Dead, does you guys think that that has any ties to Ghostbusters, other than the fact that zombies could be considered supernatural? Um, it's a dramatic television show with horror-like elements, and I can understand what he's saying, even though it makes no sense. He wants it to be scarier, so Walking Dead would be scarier. Okay, but uh, what does that have to do with Ghostbusters? I, I really don't get it. He's rebooting it, but and give me your feedback on this. If he's rebooting Ghostbusters, doesn't there have to be something left to reboot? I mean, otherwise he's just making his own movie. And if he's going to basically make this movie as a statement for women and women's, you know, stance and movies and how come far they've come and he's going to make a statement, can't he just do it with his own movie? Because that's kind of what he's doing. He's using his own... I mean, okay, what does it have in common with any of the Ghostbuster movies or cartoon? Let's see. In New York, four Ghostbusters total. And I, they fight ghosts. And they're any casted comedians, which whatever you want to say they're comedians, they're not to me. Um, and if he's taking everything away from the franchise, I mean, I know he doesn't have to... I'd almost settle for just a remake, straight out, sloppy, sh terrible uh, remake of it over this. No, I don't, forget the women. It has nothing to do with the women. So stop commenting on that. It's not the women. I don't know how many times I keep telling people that and they keep saying, what are the get go? They're saying it's women. No, I don't care. Okay. There is no connection between. He, Paul Feig doesn't seem to... He says he's a fan of the first movie. I'm not seeing that. I'm not seeing he's a fan of the first movie. I'm seeing he's taking the name Ghostbusters and the concept of fighting ghosts and applying nothing else. He doesn't have to do things exactly the same, but if you... Please, anybody out there, please tell me what he said that it makes you think that he has respect for the original. He doesn't talk about the sequel, so I love it, but he just the first one, okay, fine. That's definitely the most iconic, so he's a fan of it. But has he done anything different in his career? I've seen videos where people saying, stop jumping to conclusions, that he's gonna... I mean, just wait and see. It's just so biased and some, some sexist if you're jumping on... This is gonna be terrible, blah, blah, blah. Well, he's casting at least two of the people he's worked with on, what, two to three movies? He's hiring 
the writer of The Heat, which he's been working with, he's hired all women again. He hasn't done that. He's only done what? This is only his, what, his third movie? He's done TV shows like Freaks and Geeks, but this is only his third full-length movie. So, to me, the question is, what would make anybody think that this would be any different than any other thing he's ever done? Because he's not changing his cast, really. He's not changing writers. He's not approaching it any differently. He's doing all women. Seems to be only making a statement with women rather than actually trying to make a good movie. I mean, to my, my message to him is, which I'm sure is going to fall on deaf ears because it doesn't matter to him or, or Sony, if you're going to make a statement about feminism and everything, that's great. You're almost making your own movie. You, you have not, nothing that has to do with anything of Ghostbusters other than they fight ghosts in some way. And I've heard, I've heard comments about you know, the shocker thing about Peter Dinklage, they wants him to play the shocker S character who's who's coming back from death or went wrong in the electric chair when he, and then he's gonna bring back he's gonna bring ghosts and hurt people and kill people and he wants it to be scarier and it's just well, I'm sorry, scariness is not if you if you throw the, 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 the concept of the effects make a little scary, little dip freaky, but then there's comedy you know there's more comedy than that or it feeds off of that he's not understanding that I don't believe he's a fan of the first movie at all he's not he when he keeps saying such stupid things and if I'm if you guys disagree with me let me know because maybe I'm just blind but he continues to say the dumbest things that he, that and I don't even think he's finished his first draft yet with that Katie Dipple not even one draft yet and he's still saying things that just are just so I mean they're, he's making it sound like he's Throwing all the Ghostbuster stuff, basically just throwing it away and starting over, but while starting over, he's basically taking, you know, I mean, they should just call this movie The G-Files, as far as I'm concerned. I'd be content with that name. Don't call it Ghostbusters, call it The G-Files. Because they cast out, what was her name for Saturday Night Live? The, she's the Weekend Update, and she's funny, I actually, I actually like her. Cicely Strong or something? She's going to play... A uh, guy or a woman who works with the government, and is kind of like the liaison between um, the Ghostbusters whenever they form, and like the FBI or like the X Files, basically. Okay, that re does that remind any Ghostbuster fans of anything? Um, how about Walter Peck, for example? I mean, yeah. And then look at the video game. That's straight from the video game. He doesn't like them, but he has to be a liaison. So she's basically just Walter Peck with a different name, and she's a woman. Once again, uh, that's the latest casting news, and she's funny, and I like her, but that's exactly what they've already done. So he says he's not using elements of the first or of the original, and he's completely ripping off things like that, and then saying, no, I'm starting completely over, and it's my own, our own original idea for you know, kind of a, like going into business story, as he says. Um, how full of shit is this guy? I couldn't, I don't, I can't possibly think of anything else he can say besides maybe he wants it to be like a, a slasher movie and have, you know, people's heads getting cut off. I wouldn't be surprised if he says that. Nothing he says anymore surprises me. <laughs> I just keep talking about it because it just pisses me off. I have no life. Ghostbusters is my favorite thing. So besides, uh, well, the Hawkeyes and uh, and the Chicago Bulls other than that, and the Simpsons. Other than that, it's Ghostbusters and Fright Night. Um, I just uh, I can't I can't stand this anymore. Uh, and please, everybody who disagrees with this, tell Sony that they're full of shit. Tell, I mean, I, this is just a money thing, and I. Uh, I wish we could start a petition to get them to cancel the movie. There's no way in how that the work anybody's going to be able to get that to happen. But I am just getting so mad, even more mad than I, I've been, with the complete lack of 
originality, which of course Hollywood doesn't really, has kind of ceased in Hollywood for many years now anyway, occasionally. Things will come about like, uh, what was that Christopher Nolan uh, one? God, what was that one with Leonardo DiCaprio? Uh, God, I can't remember. And then the ending was really creative. I can't remember what that was called. I saw it once. And that was really creative. Um, God, what was that called? I can't believe I forgot the name of that movie. Oh, Inception. Occasionally, they'll, they'll come across movies that are so, you know, flowing with creative talent and originality and stuff. I understand it's hard to do that nowadays because, you know, there's been over 100 years worth of, of cinema. I mean, how do you make something original anymore without at least borrowing part of something, even without knowing you're doing it a lot, a lot of the time? So, I, I mean, I totally understand that, but he's saying he's doing it and doing it his own way, and he is and he isn't. I mean, that's straight out of the video game, and even the first movie, but more out of the video game, which was supposed to be the third movie, I guess, as close as we'll get. Um, so that, and then they're going to be a special part of the government that, you know, uh, disposes of ghosts or fights ghosts or whatever. I mean, that's the G-Files, okay? That's not Ghostbusters, that's the G-Files. They're, I mean, it, if anybody has any creative ideas that he's put out that they think is creative and that will actually add to this project in a positive light, please let me know. I haven't heard anything yet of anything where anybody has had anything positive to say that made any sense other than wait and see. You're stupid because you're saying you don't want to see it and it's because it's women. That's the only, that's the only thing I've heard. If anybody else has anything new to say about that, about what he's doing and how the cast is great and how they're not completely ripping off part of the Ghostbusters and then but they're and they're ripping off the X-Files hugely. I mean it's just X-Files with Ghostbusters. So shouldn't they at least distance themselves enough where they can say the G-Files? I'm sure Fox won't give them the the rights to use that as a title. Uh, but still, I mean it, to me, it, it's it's fair to have, if they're going to change so much and have almost nothing to do with just Ghostbusters in general, not just timelines and, and uh, cons and like, uh, you know, the concepts that Dan Aykroyd and Hill Ramos came up, came up with, which are too iconic to even, I, I, to even rehash because they're just too iconic, especially from the first movie. Um, is it fair to say that he, he should just come up with a title that's his own movie? Because he, this has ceased to be a Ghostbusters movie for quite a while now. And it just keeps, all he keeps adding is more things that is basically driving it further away from anything that has to do with Ghostbusters. I don't care, the, okay, the characters are different, okay. It's today. None of the other stuff has happened. None of the movies have happened. Okay. Um, but you want it to be scarier, which is missing the point with the comedy completely. You're casting comedians, but you want it to be scarier than the others. So, get me if I'm wrong. That makes no goddamn sense at all. Walking Dead. At great show. What the, f what the fuck does that have to do with Ghostbusters at all? I mean, what, what, what in that can he draw as inspiration other than scary, which is completely not the point of the concept of Ghostbusters? Shouldn't he just, I mean, I, and this, it's probably just, I mean, it's just licensing, I understand, but in all fairness, if Sony wasn't so full of shit and so lazy, wouldn't it be fair to say that it's his own movie? Don't call it Ghostbusters because it's really not. You've taken basically everything out of it, just the concept alone. Forget the character, the original characters. Uh, forget all that, even. He is just taking bits from other movies. And it it's about as far from a Ghostbusters movie as possible. I mean, it is. If I'm wrong, let me know. Um but this he just keeps infuriating me and I 
guess I can't really, uh, I have nothing positive to say about this anymore. And I never have, but I'm just hoping that he'll keep, he'll, something will come out. The only positive thing is that I can come up with is this reboot, the only good thing in, to me, and I just kind of was trying, I've been striving to find something positive, and it's almost, it's been impossible. The only thing, a conclusion I've come, come to, and this will probably be my last video about it, unless somebody has something to say, and I'll comment back to you about it, um, is that more than likely, at least anytime soon, you know, Ernie Hudson will be Winston Zed more forever. Harold Ramis will be Egon Spangler forever. The only one, I mean, Bill Murray will be Vankman forever. Dan Aykroyd will be Ray Stance forever. Uh, Dana Barrett will always be Scoring Weaver. Danny Potts will always be Janine. Uh, William Afton will always be Peck. And uh, David Margulies will always be the, the, the mayor, at least in the originals. And uh, Kurt Fuller will always be Hardenwire, which I really love. And I really love Peter McNichol as uh, Janosch in the second one. But the main four Ghostbusters, they are the one and the only Ghostbusters. And there's a lot of people that agree with that. So I'm at least happy that they're going to be go down as the only actors, besides cartoons, that have ever played those roles. They are cemented in those roles. There will not be anybody else playing them. And that makes me a little happy when I think about it that way. Even if this is a huge fucking disaster, there's no stopping it without the world ending. I mean, Apocalypse is pretty much the only way you're going to stop this from being made, which is a little unrealistic. Hmm. It might bring, bring about the apocalypse, but no, that's going overboard a little bit, but still. In my world, it is. <laughs> Once I said I had no life, so. Hmm. But, I'm, but I'm happy to say that those four will be cemented in those roles. Ernie Hudson will always be Winston. You know, I mean, that makes me a little happy, you know? I mean, they may re remake it 30 years from now or, or more. Luckily, I'll be a senior citizen by then, and I'll probably not even know what's going on. I'll be in a nursing home, and I won't care. That's fine. But those guys are... are uh, the only ones that should be associated with those characters, and I'm, in, and I'm just happy that that can be, that can kind of rest in peace. That Pell Ramis can be Dr. Egon's Spangler forever, and there's nobody else that's going to come in and try to do their own take or just copy what he did, the way he acted, you know, lazy remake. I like that. I like thinking about it that way. One positive thing I can come out with, and you know what, I'll, I'll just I have to accept it, and I guess we all have to accept it. Even if people are saying we're sexist and we're not, <laughs> that's something I don't, I, I'm not going to accept. But people are going to be that stupid and judgmental and not listen to anything else, and there's nothing we can do about that. So I don't care about that anymore. But those, those they're going to be those characters forever, and that's just a good feeling. So if anybody can come up with anything positive, anything else other than that, I'd love to hear it because uh, these characters are one of a kind. Concept is one of a kind, even though obviously they've had similar things. Elvin Costello meet Frankenstein, and you know they've had kind of horror elements with comedy before Ghostbusters, but Ghostbusters really blew it out of the water. And then uh, and Men of Black was was great. Second one, awful. Third one, great. And they elab they kind of I mean they changed the dynamic, but it was really creative. You know I mean it was it, it was cool and it was a uh, I didn't even know it was a Marvel comic. That's how little I knew about it when it first came out. It was actually adapted from Marvel Comics. So, that was cool. But, Ghostbusters will always be iconic. And I do think this will take away from it. But at least there won't be anybody else playing those the iconic original four. And then, you know, the supporting cast. So, if anybody else can come up with anything positive, I'd love to hear it. But that's all I can think of right now. But it's, it's enough. I mean, I'm glad those four will be it, you know. And then these won't even be female versions, even of the characters. Of course, we'll wait and see how much they might actually leak a little bit of personality into it. But more than likely, they're just going to be playing the same characters they always play. It's just they have to be in a different 
situation. But they'll just do the same shit all over again. So, so in a way, this kind of cements the original four and shows that, uh, hopefully, that uh, they can't be beat. You can't recast anybody to fill those roles because they're just too iconic. And should they Ghostbusters two remain the the last movie of you know the originals? Even though it's my it's my favorite, so I'm well probably a lot more happy than some diehards that don't like the second movie or don't like it as much as the first, which I can understand. I still will always love the second one the best, but the first one is always going to be the most iconic, whether I agree with that or not. But I guess I agree with that. I mean, it makes sense, but. If it has to go out in Ghostbusters 2 or the in the video game, I'm I guess I'm I can have to be content with that. I can be. I mean I got the Ghostbusters 2 poster in the background. Because I like it better than the first one even. So oops. So uh if anybody else can think of anything positive, I'd love to hear it. If not, I probably won't complain about this anymore because Paul Feig is just gonna keep saying stupid things that make no sense and have nothing to do with Ghostbusters, just generally nothing to do with it. With it. And so he can fuck it up and look like an idiot and I'll be happy. Uh, so we're all just going to have to be content with it. I think I'm probably the most angry out of anybody that's been talking about this. Probably. Or at least the only one that's had been saying anything, like actually on YouTube about it. Um, but whatever, I guess it has. It ha doesn't have to be, but it is going to be. So we have to accept it. I have a lot harder time accepting it, clearly. But um, that's okay, I guess. You can't beat the originals, and you won't. And at least it won't be like the Fright Night remake, where you cast, you recast people, and then they just do a terrible job. Not necessarily their fault, by the way. Because in my opinion, if you love Fright Night. And the Lost Boys. Somebody likes one of the two, usually. They like horror. There's only one Peter Vincent, and there's only one Charlie Brewster. That's Roddy McDowell and William Ragsdale. And there's only one Sam, uh, one Michael, and then uh, one Edgar Frog, one Alan Frog. I mean, obviously, Corey Haim, uh, Jason Patrick, uh, Corey Feldman, and uh, Jameson Newlander. I hope they never recast the Frog Brothers. Or Sam, which would be really be sad because Corey Haim's been gone for a few, three or four years now or something. Um, you know, it is what it is, I guess. But uh, they're etched in stone, and you can't say that about Fright Night. You can't say that uh, those are the only ones, the only ones who played those roles, because now there's been two pe two new people that have played Peter Vincent and two new that have played. Uh, a Charlie Brewster, but there's only two of them. The original two are the only ones in my eyes who can come even close. So, so I, I guess Ghostbusters is better off in that respect. Just thought I'd try to put a positive light on it. It's incredibly hard for me. I will not go see this movie. I don't want anything to do with it. To my choice, other people will. Whatever, I do what you want. It's not like I'm your boss or anything. I just, uh, something so passionate about it, I just have to express my discomfort and anger about it. You know, I'm trying to accept it, so. We'll see what happens. The thing that I'm really, really, really thinking Dan Aykroyd, I hope this is not true. This whole time that, you know, well, 10 to 15 years, believe he's been trying to get it off the ground, and people are saying it's gotten sad. Well, I'm, this attempt is way more sad than anything that he tried or wanted to do. This is much more sad than him trying to get another one made. I, you, know, you can disagree with that, but there's, in my mind, there's no way I'm wrong about that. But just an opinion. But the one thing that I was positive about, I was happy about at first, and then I realized, oh wait a minute, that is never going to happen. He's think he's been saying that he they're still going to make a third one. That this is going to be a reboot. So, it won't be called Ghostbusters 3, which I figured it wouldn't be. 
I really don't want it to be called Ghostbusters, but I mean it. it it's gonna be, I'm sure, right? I mean, they haven't announced exactly what the title is, but I'm sure that's what it will be. And he still seems to think they're gonna make a Ghostbusters three. And when I saw that, I was like, oh yes, 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 fine, screw this, screw whatever Chris Pratt and and uh, Channing Tatum want to do, screw it. They can do whatever they want. This isn't the same universe. That's great. That means they can do a third movie with the whichever original cast agrees to come back. And then it's just like, wait a minute. They said they kissed that goodbye when they decided to, re to reboot it with Paul Feig. I mean, that was the last straw. After that, game over, back right there. You're not going to get a third one made. I was just out of pure, I don't know, just wanting it for so long, I got excited for a minute and then came back to reality and realized, no. Once they picked B and his stupid concept, which has nothing to do with anything, uh, the, the, the original second sequel is impossible. It's, it's gone. It's over. It's not going to happen. If this reboot revitalizes the franchise, Ackroyd seems to think that he can piece together the scripts that they've been writing and revising over and over, over 10 to 15 years, which is God only knows how many things he has in that. How many Ethan Cohen had, how many the guys in the office had. Um, I don't know which scripts he's talking about. I'm sure he's talking about the one him and Harold Ramos worked on. Um, and, I, and I like that a lot of people have come in defense of Ghostbusters too, saying it's not as bad as it's been made out to be. Um, and I've heard some of the concepts of what they, him and Harold Ramos were, were working on. And it, it, it sounds like Ghostbusters, but it sounds even more different than, I mean, some people said the second one was a copy, lazy copy. And it, it, it sounds like a definitive third movie that would end it on a good note. But of course, with Harold Ramis, I mean, I don't know if that's possible to really end it on a 100% good note, even if it's a great movie. It'll be sad. I mean, they're going to have to refer to him, you know, in the third person. Or, you know, like, Egon was great, but he's gone. I mean, it's, I don't know how you, you can't make any comedy about that. And uh, piecing the scripts together, I, I, pray, I he's just kind of lost. I don't. I don't know if he actually believes that if this is, revitalizes the franchise that they're actually going to go back. I mean, can anybody think of a franchise that was either rebooted or remade and it was either successful or not successful? I guess either way. And they went back to the original um, series of movies, however many there were, and added another sequel to those. I can't think of one because there isn't one, is there? If there is one, I would love, please somebody let me know if there is one. But that's just him dreaming. Well, me too, but I know it's not going to happen. I really don't know if he really believes what he's saying or if he's just trying to put us diehard fans at ease who want a traditional third movie. I don't know what is going on, but it's not going to happen. I want it to happen so bad. But, you know, whatever. This is successful or not successful. There's not going to be a third movie. I think most rational people would agree with that. At least not for many, many years, which they may reboot it. Or not reboot it, actually remake it with the four original four characters again. I just want another cartoon. That's all I ask, is another cartoon, another comic book series. I mean, that's as close as we could possibly ask for. We're not going to get another video game, not like the Ghostbusters video game, the video game. You're never going to get all of them again. Bill Murray's going to have to pay him so much money. I mean, just for his likeness and his voice, that it may not even be worth making as much as he's going to ask. That's why they haven't made another one since. They had to pay them so much to write it, so much for their likeness, and so much for their voice talent, voice acting, that the profits were not big enough. Because you had to, put, you had to pay all them, too. And it, it's sad because it was a really cool game. And it was a really cool story and I mean I would have loved it to been the third movie and it's gonna have to be I guess for all intents and purposes it has to it's gonna have to be the third movie if you're desperate enough to really want one or to have had one 
Well, he did, I guess. It was two years after Ghostbusters 2, so that is it. I, I guess I'm not really content with that, but I'm trying to be. Uh, just please just comment and let me know what you think. Um, I'm just I'm trying to let this go, but it's when Fee keeps saying these things that are just so idiotic. I just ugh, I can't even tell you what I think. I couldn't possibly tell you any more <laughs> any more angrily without throwing my computer outside the window, just throwing it out on the street. Um, but I guess we'll have to just assume that the second one or video game will be it, and it'll live on forever, one way or another. They can screw this new one up. It doesn't really matter, does it? No, they're already going to do it. They're not going to cancel it. So, if you guys, that's just, I think that's a good way of looking at it. If you're somebody like me who's way too involved in, in their thoughts about it and letting it kind of control, not control my life, but just, I can't stop thinking about it. So, just let me know what you think. This is probably, hopefully, the last video I post of this stupid reboot. I want to try to do uh, some reviews of the first one and definitely the second one because I'm, I really want to go delve in deep into that one because I love it and I the amount of criticism it gets is completely unwarranted and I'll, I'll ex totally go into that and explain why and hopefully I'll get a Fright Night and Fright Night Part 2 um, uh, reviews up too because that, that sequel is definitely pretty forgotten. I have it posted on my site if anybody wants to watch it. Hopefully all the parts still work. I might have to try to put put it together in one just so you don't have to keep going to the different parts. Because the reason I'm able to post it is because, well, there nobody has any rights to it. Nobody's releasing it since 2003, so there's a lot of people. So I'm not even breaking, I'm not breaking a law. I mean, if, if they did, I would go out and buy the Blu-ray or the DVD or whatever in a second. I mean, I spent $92 on the Fright Night remake, or, or not remake, the Fright Night uh, 30th Anniversary Blu-ray. And that was cheap. I mean, there were some, I mean, there's Fright Night Part 2, it's, I don't know if it's region free or not Blu-ray, with no special features. I saw it for $400. Uh, that was the cheapest. I don't even know if it was new or, or used. I mean, either way, that's freaking ridiculous. So, I'll try to get, get some of those up, too, and, uh, if anybody has anything to say, uh, just let me know, as usual. Thanks for listening to my Ghostbusters, well, 5 millionth Ghostbusters reboot rant. Later.